Hey guys, welcome back to Backcountry Amateur Radio. Uh, I'm going to keep this intro really short. The video itself is long enough, and if you have patience for it, great. If not, it really, I just wanted to get this out there. Um, I've been having a, tr a little bit of trouble with this FT25R. It's out of warranty, um, and it seems like it's easy enough to fix, but I might be wrong. This is the second time I've had to do this, and through the video you'll see the operation I'm going through. It's actually pretty straightforward and it's pretty easy, but the problem is the mic, the speaker mic stopped working. So I plug it in and it turns out, I looked in there and the little prongs that touch the phone plug aren't connecting. So it's like, I got to thinking, well, that's probably collapsed in there and there's probably something causing that thing not to spring back into place. Um, so I take this apart and I show you exactly what I do. Um, and I use an O-ring pick to get in there and kind of push that prong back into place. Again, this is the second time I've done this, but the problem is the audio coming out of the speaker mic, I can turn this all the way up and you can't hear anything, which is super frustrating. And obviously if I'm using the mobile link to TNC3, that also needs to be able to hear the signals coming through. So uh, this is what I do and this is how I fix it. Let's get started and uh, enjoy. If you enjoy this kind of thing, this is not a, a super useful video probably to most people, but I imagine someone out there is experiencing the same problem with an FT65R or an FT25R. Now, as you're taking this apart, you may think, oh, I should take off the uh, belt clip. I don't take off the belt clip. It actually gives you leverage to pull the unit out. So using the belt clip, I actually lift the, the unit out of the body. And it's much easier this way than trying to pry it out with like a tool. So I'd say leave the belt clip into place. Um, it's a sturdy belt clip. It can handle the force. So anyway, there you go. Be gentle as your uh, speaker wires, the red and black wires there, are permanently fixed into place. It's not, um, it's not something you can just jerk around. You'll have to solder it back together if you if you uh, break the connection.
All right, now that I have this apart, I'm using a very fine O-ring pick in order to push that prong on that phone plug, the three and a half millimeter phone plug, which is the speaker jack part of your whole assembly there. I'm pushing that prong back into place and uh, using a little bit of force, it is some, it is uh, steel, um, I assume, it's some lesser material. This apparently doesn't seem to be too great of a material. But anyhow, I pushed it back into place and then actually bent the little metal plate on the outer part of the jack. And so I just kind of pushed that back uh, and give it a squeeze with the needle nose. And that is effectively the repair. And I'll test it when I get to a place where I feel comfortable plugging the battery back in. But you can see there, that is the prong. It's back into place. And you can see the other one also in place just naturally. It's not failing on me. So... This is the repair. Now it's time to just put this thing back together. So I'm gonna go back to being quiet and let you enjoy this.
everybody thanks for joining uh i really appreciate all your support and you know i've had a few people buy me a cup of coffee which i thank you so much for that um that is been soup that's super helpful for the growth of the channel and to sustain this um but the easiest way to support the channel is to give me a thumbs up and subscribe even if you don't subscribe please a thumbs up helps a lot too all right see you down the trail thank you so much